you don't have to get so really intensely caught up into right and wrong in this world. I can't tell you how many people say, did I, did I make a mistake in form? Did I do the right thing? Did I do the wrong thing? Uh, just tell me uh, what my next step is. Tell me what the guidance is. I just tell me what to do. I have people that write to me, tell me what to do. Or they're so nervous and they're so anxious about making mistakes in form. There's so much intensity and guilt tied in there. And what Francis was sharing on Friday night was basically, you need to relax. You need to relax. You know, this intensity that you're feeling about right and wrong in terms of the world is just a distraction to keep you from relaxing. And you're not going to really be able to tune into the Holy Spirit if you're in a state of fear or anxiety that blocks the Holy Spirit's voice from, from awareness. You have to begin to relax. And how can you relax any better than by admitting you have a perceptual problem? That, that is going to be the key to allow you to start to relax, to stop judging yourself. Right, wrong, positive, negative, oh my gosh, that, that self-judgment and self-criticism is depleting, it's depressing, it makes you tired, fatigued. It just is, it just is wearing your mind down because your mind wasn't created to be a judge. And so this judgment of the form, of judgment of the behavior, and judgment of the behaviors of others is very, very debilitating. And you know, also, if you, to judge is still denying that it's a perceptual problem. It's not. It's not bringing it back to your mind and saying, I am mistaken about everything I perceive. It's saying, no, I'm right about what I perceive and I did these things right and wrong and those people did these things right and wrong. And it's trying to be right about judgment instead of admit that I have a perceptual problem. It's so important to come to this admission of a perceptual problem.